Due to suggestive adult themes and dialogue, this podcast is intended for adults. In other words, the truth is ugly, so we get ugly right along with it. Everything we say is out of love for ourselves, our people, and our community. Sincerely, the Green Route Podcast. Black people don't hope, we wish. We wish a motherfucker would be an action. As far as I'm concerned, they could burn this bitch to the ground. And it still wouldn't be enough. And they are lucky that what black people are looking for is equality and not revenge. All right, y'all, I want to welcome y'all to episode 15 of the green route podcast yes thank y'all for tuning in with us on live i am gs and i am marlissa what's up y'all welcome back last thing we should jump into this uh student loan forgiveness student loan forgiveness or cancellation it's not really forgiveness i don't really know um so this is a campaign promise Mm -hmm. um that biden made he ran on this and Mm -hmm. so a lot of us were calling for forgiveness um There was a few things thrown out, $10,000, $50,000, or overarching, swipe it a pen, get Mm -hmm. everybody canceled. If you have federal student loans in particular, and Mm -hmm. the the point of that, and I want to say I was on that team, Mm -hmm. because I feel like, specifically as a black woman who knows that we take out more loans to, in essence, get paid less um, for a lot of the work that we do, this hurts us more than anybody. So... I was there for, yeah, cancel it all. And another one of my points was, you know, we constantly fund wars. We have Mm -hmm. bailed out corporations. We bailed out banks. I still don't own a piece of Bank of America. And we bailed them out, you know, 2008 and and after that. Housing crisis, bank mistakes. And that's what we know. And that's what we know. Our tax dollars fund so much. But when it comes to actually our tax dollars helping us to do something for ourselves, like, Mm, oh, no, we, we can't have that. That's socialism all of a sudden. So socialism for the for the rich, mm-hmm. capitalism for the poor. Apparently, yes, we're meant to we're, we can we can we're meant to compete with each other for what we need. But in terms of the bigger corporations, the bigger industries, no, they have to be saved. We fund them, yes. Yeah, we got to save the bigger, like right. not the individuals, the bigger. Yeah. It don't, so, make no, it don't make no sense. So so right now, um, you know, one of the points that's coming up is, okay, $10,000 not enough. Mm-hmm. So then he ups it to 20000 And we know it's for sensationalism. Sure, midterms are coming up. All right. Mm-hmm. My issue, though, is that we've just forgiven all of these PPP loans. Mm-hmm. We send in all this money over to Ukraine mm-hmm. and elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, we have troops all over. We are, I think we're... Right now, keeping afloat 800 military bases in other countries. Mm -hmm. Um, We are bailing out corporations. We continue to subsidize Elon Musk and uh, Jeff Bezos Mm -hmm. going to space. And we can't use our money that comes out of our check Mm -hmm. (laughs) every two weeks or every week after you get paid to give the American people a little bit of freedom. My other issue with this is... Who the fuck has this money anymore? Mm-hmm. We have not paid student loans since 2020, early 2020. It's going to be a shitty bill to start back, start back getting. But but the problem is, I'm trying to figure out who has it because inflation has eaten up any wiggle room that people had. Inflation has eaten it up. Mm-hmm. So if you're anything like me, at one point I was paying like $800 a month for my student loans. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. Eight hundred dollars a month when rent has gone up. That's a lot. When gas is up, when food is everything is more expensive. And so chances are if I wasn't living paycheck to paycheck in twenty twenty, I am now. Mm-hmm. And so I'm trying to figure out like where where people are going to get this excess money when everything that we were saving, remember we was all sitting on a bunch of cash like early quarantine because we wasn't going nowhere. Mm-hmm. But all of that money has been eaten up. People are not saving that way. If they are, if they do have anything, they're probably buying some weed and like something to help them <laughs> get mm-hmm. through the reality of living in this country, to be honest. So mm-hmm. I just think we are going to put regular American people into a crazy financial crisis. They are. Uh, I think that, that they're going to create more people who are in debt. They're going to push people further away because, again, we have people who are college educated. We have people who are uh, who work nine to five jobs. Mm-hmm. We have people who work uh, who work um, uh, salary positions, mm-hmm. and they're struggling. Yeah. Because again, it's not even about what they're getting paid. It's the fact that everything around us is going up. That's it. And specifically rent. Yeah. So specifically that. So with everything that you were saying. Um, 
I 100% agree. But even to add on to that, like we're spending this money here, we find this money that we look, we've looked out for these people. Uh, the other part of it is too, our basic infrastructure is still jacked up. We still don't have an infrastructure bill. We still, we still, we still don't have, we still don't have a bill. We still don't have, we still don't have uh, the the necessary components to create a Medicare for all situation. Mm -hmm. We still have schools that are behind. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about education is still, it's, it's, it's so many other things that they have not fixed um, that, that it doesn't make sense that they don't have the money yeah. for this. Yeah. So I, they're spending it in crazy places and then they, and then they're not spending it where they should be. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, it's, it's all of that. So, but specifically with this loan forgiveness, my, my point, my, my background is education. Mm -hmm. So I remember when I tried to apply for student loan forgiveness, which is something that they promised to us. That's right. Uh, if we taught in a high needs area, specifically special education, the arts, um, uh, in a Title One school, all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, when I finally went to apply for it, I was denied. Why? And it was some, it was some stupid ass red tape. Something I should have given them notice that that's what I was working towards like five years ago. So basically, by me letting them know that I want my loans forgiven, I would start that following year, which makes no fucking sense. So because uh, you didn't tell them, hey, I'm about to go teach. Basically, you couldn't get your loans. Even though I could prove it, I could, uh, I could prove it. I talked for five polo. years. Look at this. Look at all these school shirts I got. Oh, uh, 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 photo albums, all that. But my point is, my other point um, is this: I later found out that 85 percent of the educators who actually applied for that mm -hmm. didn't get it. Wow. Only 15 percent of only 15 percent of teachers who applied for that got it. Yeah. So. With that being said, y'all owe a lot of people money anyway. So, it should all be canceled for sure. Yeah. For sure. So. I, well, and, and so a couple of facts about that, y'all. Um, mm -hmm. So, what it, what is looking like right now is $10,000 in student loan cancellation if you make less than $125,000. Mm -hmm. um, if you make over that, you do not qualify. They consider you high earning mm -hmm. when we know now that people making 150, 200,000, like a good portion of them are now living paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. Now, some of that could be because of student loans. Mm -hmm. Chances are, if you're making that much money, you probably got some loans on mm -hmm. you. Um, but some of that is just lifestyle choices and you're going to have to take that up with the Lord. Mm -hmm. um, but you can also get 20K and this is specifically for people who come from low income families and mm -hmm. qualify for a Pell Grant. So, for example, undergrad, I qualified for a Pell Grant mm -hmm. because I came from a low income family. So, mm -hmm. just information to take. I'm not saying that we should not take this forgiveness, but I am saying that it's not enough. Again, we can fund everything else under the sun. Right. We find money for everything else. And for some reason, this is the one thing. And it's not for some reason. We know what it is. If you give people too much freedom, they start making free decisions for themselves. Mm -hmm. And they're not walking up into your little building to work your little job no more. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, they do have freedom to make choices for themselves and for their family. And that crumbles us, in essence, like working for the machines mm -hmm. that all of us tend to have to work for to pay these loans uh, uh it's, it's 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 a lot of points to make with this one if all loans were forgiven the group that would benefit the most are black women right here so that's one yep uh the other part of it is a lot of people a lot of uh a lot of people can't own they can't buy houses mm -hmm. right now because they're still in that debt yep. they still owe money or it's deferred and all that so it's like the whole point of getting an education is to be able to create a legacy for yourself that american dream that we were promised yeah the house mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying the the, the stable the, income the 2.5 kids you know what i'm saying the 2.5 kids <laughs> yeah. like all of that like we can't a lot of us are not starting families a lot of us are not buying homes yes a lot of us not doing anything because of debt yep and a part of that debt is student loan debt it's because they told us as chunk. poor yep. kids from the hood that you need to go to college mm -hmm. and then look what happened my last point to this and i'm gonna end my part um specifically um, there are a lot of people who don't who don't like this because of what they had to go through, you know what I'm saying, what they had to pay. Dang and they've nice. already paid their stuff. And I'm saying this. I I feel you. I feel you in that sense. Like I you had to sacrifice, you had to um you had to you had to really go through it just to make just to make that just mm -hmm. to pay that off. So I'm I'm not saying by any by any frame of mind, by any uh by any means that Y'all, y'all don't deserve money. Mm -hmm. 
y'all deserve y'all's money back if we getting paid. I ain't gonna lie, I, I would agree. I would join that boat Get, just as just as hard as the boat. They owe you some money, but yeah. don't but don't hate on people who. So so for me, I still have student loans, but don't get me wrong. I hustle to pay the the what I did pay off. Mm -hmm. Anybody who knew me could tell you, like, I had, like, a part-time, like, doing gigs, all mm -hmm. kind of stuff to pay what I did pay off. So, I'm with y'all, but you cannot be upset that, like, a pathway was there for you that maybe someone else didn't have. Mm -hmm. And I, I do agree with GS, like, I would be lobbying, like, yo, I paid mine off, run me my 10 or my 20K. Yeah. Like, run it to me. Give me a check. That I, would be nice. That would be nice. That and and, yeah. and y'all would be old then. 100%. I wouldn't. Y'all would be old then. If you paid... If you paid over twenty k and you are still operating within that within that uh that salary range mm -hmm. or that income range, yo get your get get that money back. Get your money. You deserve it. I just again point that we were making before we even started the show was we should not let the system that we are part of turn us against each other. Because mm -hmm. it's not a us problem. It really is the fact that college is too expensive mm -hmm. and it does not create the opportunities that we were promised it creates and, and when you do make those arguments you just you have you have to understand that it is not it is not first of all a lot of us don't we don't have choice in this matter like ain't no choice in this for us in terms of whether it's even gonna pass or not mm -hmm. but we would appreciate it mm -hmm. so it's one of those things where it's like we can't be mad at people who who, who would really benefit from it again yeah. I was like, imagine if your 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 enslaved uh, family members came back and saw how free you were living. It's like y'all too soft. All y'all need to be. If I slave went through, everybody. if I went through slavery for a whole for all my life, your ass need to go to at least five years. You, no, you sound like a hater. You you, we don't all need to have that struggle, grand great 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 grandma. We do not. I you 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 paid the price. I hear you. you I paid hear the you. ultimate price. Right, reparations for your suffering. But that don't mean I need to go. That like, does not mean yeah. I need. To, I need to go through it. Just you know. That's not my ministry, what did, Grandma. What did JC said, I went through it, so you didn't. I, so you didn't have to go through it or something like yeah, that. Yeah, take that for the team. Come on now. No. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> you said, let me start some shit. <laughs> nah, I'm not. Look, no, I'm, I'm, not, leave it alone. I'm on my own on that since she's on her own. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm, it's a joke. I'm just, we, just, we, just, we just rocking with you. We just playing with y'all. But, um, um, but yeah, so, oh, one more thing. So, uh, forgiveness, I mean, I'm sorry, the pause has been extended to December 31st. So, December apparently, 31st. January 1st, 2023, it's supposed right. to pick back up, but we're gonna see. Yeah, so. so that's it. That's it. Uh, checking in. Uh, man, I'm good. I gotta, I gotta get my car towed though because mm. um, I had to drive through some high water mm. during the storm, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I think my rotors and my brakes are done. Oh, uh, but I didn't get any water in my engine. The engine Thank still God. sounds fantastic. Yeah, it's nah, just the rotors that's, and the brakes. That's what's gonna get you. So um, right now I am depending on uh, Great Black Century and mm -hmm. GS here to. Um, Take me around the city. I actually kind of feel like a princess. I appreciate y'all wow, for picking me up. you're getting that and, Uber. Right, the okay. black Uber At some black. point, I'm going to be like, you're not going to get my door? Uber not, black? Wow. You're, not, you're trying to get the full? Like, you know. Look, if but, you tip now, you're going to tip. You're gonna, you, got some, you got some gas money. Gas still high now. No, but, but appreciate all the homies nah. who have like been been willing to you know bring stuff and, and pick mm -hmm. me up or whatever. So, uh, But yeah, everything else is good. I'm just, I'm, I'm in a good space. What about you? I'm in a really good space. Uh, I'm still bouncing back sleep wise okay. from uh, still bouncing back sleep wise from uh, <laughs> last week because last week was a lot. Okay. But I felt like last night was like a night where I almost because what the way I sleep sometimes when it's bad when it's getting bad good, I'll fall asleep at a decent time mm -hmm. probably like ten thirty eleven, and then I'll wake back up at like one mm, okay. or two and I'll be up for like an hour hour and a half and then I'll finally go back to sleep yeah. and then that little block of time just gets smaller and smaller. Okay. So, but it starts off with me, you know, just working night after night or just doing a lot the week before. Like, the whole sleep is off. So, and actually what really messed my sleep up again was the rain. The rain had threw me off. That was crazy. Because, yeah, yeah all the rain was happening. And it really, it wasn't the rain per se because I could sleep through that. That was good. It was everything that was happening that mm -hmm. was causing people to call me. Yeah. Or, or, the or. alerts were going off all night. Alerts going yeah. off. Yeah. Uh, my aunt was knocking on my window mm -hmm. at 8 o'clock, 8 something, uh asking about a ride and how people gonna get yeah it was a lot yeah I, I so that night i did i had a rough sleep because it was just loud right the thunder the lightning like everything going on outside i was mm -hmm. hearing a bunch of sirens so i figured there were accidents happening right, right, right. and then the alerts just kept coming like the national weather service about the, the river rising yeah and so that woke me up i think three times that night mm -hmm. and so yeah i'm i'm with you what's crazy though i want to point out i have been up at the witching hour too like what is going on right now i don't know 
It must must be the uh, what season is this? What are we in? Leo season? I had to call yeah, my grandma see what's going on in no, the stars what's, what's right going now. On, man. See what the was, old hoodoo lady say about we, it. You know, like, <laughs> shout out to my my oh what did my my Haitian brother say? I don't even know if he's still on. Oh. Uh, shout out to my boy Alto. But yeah, we got to figure out. We're gonna we're gonna have to use everything we know to figure out what we, what we what we need to know. Yeah. So we gonna do that. But otherwise, outside of that, I'm pretty good. Good. Pretty good. Good. So yeah, we getting this video content together too, y'all. Getting this video. We are content. about to drop episode 14 and this is 15 this so 15, thank so. y'all for um being patient with us we had to restructure some things mm -hmm. um but we are back so we back all right you got anything else uh i think that's it okay all right y'all remember to love your community mm -hmm. love your family mm -hmm. and most important love yourself you know when you do the benediction we should put like some church organ some music like, yeah you know, like what i say unto one what i say unto all what i say one <laughs> I see them tall. We're going to get that. Watch. We're going to do that. We're going to get the whole time. All right, y'all. Well, have a great week. Um, send us, you know, anything that you may want to hear about next week. Don't forget mm -hmm. to like, follow, subscribe, uh, put the bells on and the whistles so your phone goes off when we post something. Um, Notifications. Yes, all of that. Um, and yeah, love y'all. Talk to you later. Peace. Sunshine, sunshine, tell me where you are. Because I need.